Hey guys, I'm Denis from Respect Studios. In this part, we're going to make a simple dissolve effect. Uh, we'll make an object that will disappear based on uh, texture. So let's just make a simple sphere here. Make it bigger. Let's duplicate that material and uh, apply it to the sphere. I'm going to create a new shader graph. Let's name it shader graph 05 dissolve and uh, let's select the material 05 and come here to the graphs and uh, get the dissolve. Now let's double click on the 05. First of all we have to make the, uh, the, the master to be alpha blend. Okay. Now let's make a noise. Let's uh, set the scale to 50 and apply the output to the alpha. Let me save. Let's hit save. And uh, let's see what's going on. Now we can see that it's looking, it's 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 getting transparent, okay. But I want to have uh, slightly harder edges, so I'm going to make a remap node which I will apply to the input and the 0 to 1 I will make it from negative 50 to 50 this way I will make the, the uh, noise a lot harder I will remove the smoothness now let me save and we can see that I'm not sure why but let me do something else now it's, it's going for, from negative 50 to 50 which is not good so let me clamp the output value from uh, 0 to 1 let me save and now if we come here you can see that we're getting uh, transparency uh, based on the texture you can make a different texture if you want so for example uh, let me get uh, sample texture and uh, let me see if I can take something like hmm. take this and just see what's going to happen yeah so you can make it like this you can use uh, alpha texture but for this example we're going to use the sample noise okay now let's create a multiply node and let's add one float here which will be named uh, dissolve effect no dissolve okay let's leave it to float for now just so you can uh, i'm going to name it uh, give let's name it dissolve blend blend effect okay let's create a property and choose the blend effect apply it to the b of the multiplied and apply it, uh, the remap to a now if we type here one if we type 0 0.5 0 0.1 this will make it i'm not sure if we really need this but let's leave it like here this will make it to look harder the problem is that at the moment there is no way we can make that to big to become smaller. We can make it like to look grayer, like this. Okay. Now let's make add node and uh, add this. Actually, let me let me remove this for now. Let's make an add node and uh, let's. Uh, create one property here which will be our property like blend effect and apply it here what we can see now is we can add one we can add five we can add 50 okay and the thing is that at the values that we're using here from negative 50 to 50 we can use the same values here to make it pure black or completely white so if i type negative 30 you can see that 
it's pretty dark negative 40 and if i type 25 if i type 30 now the problem is that i don't want to mm, take the exactly these values here but i want to remap it so i'm going to remap that property and i'm going to make it from negative 50 to 50 to be from 0 to 1 now here now if i go to 0 the input here actually yeah my bad you have to make from 0 to 1 to actually be from negative 50 to 50 so if I go from 0 it will be pure black now if I go to point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.5, point 0.6, point 0.7, point 0.8, point 0.9 and 1 will be pure white now if we come here we can start moving that value and it will likely disappear okay it's from 0 to 1 now uh, we can actually animate this so we can see uh, it posing so let's make a sign note and uh, apply it here and let's make a time note apply the time here uh, the thing is that I think it's going from negative 1 to 1 so let's remap that and make it from negative 1 to 1 to be from 0 to 1 Now let me save now you can see we're getting that effect okay and we can have of course uh, speed which we which we can apply like a float uh, no actually let's name it pool speed and let's make a property here like pool speed and let's make a multiplied a multiplied node let's connect these two to the multiply and this one here and let's say the post speed to two for example save let's come here post speed to five <coughs> okay this is nice but let me remove this for now because I want it to be manual okay I will remove that and I will set that to 0.5 now uh, let's say that I want to make a isn't there a condition node oh there is no condition node okay I was thinking of making something but uh, give me a second we can actually make something else uh we can go to i was i was going to try to make something with the if uh note uh, shader forge had that if note and uh, it was nice uh, you can do some interesting effects but it's there is no if note here so at least i can find if not uh it's it probably will be there in the future anyway let's try to make a voronoi note which is a different way of uh, noise and uh, we can add time here and uh, you can see that it's moving now so now you can go to point one point two you can have a moving effect if you want Okay, this is because the UV is of the sphere. So if you have proper UVs, that won't happen. Replace color. Hmm, okay. I think we can 
try to use the replace color, in color instead of the if. But here we're going to go from uh, we're going to change the negative 50 to 50 from negative 5 to 5. So we have some smoothness between the zero. I'm going to even change it from negative 3 to 3. So we can have some smoothness between the zero and the one. Negative three to three is pretty smooth. Negative six to six, I'm going to try and you have to change that here as well. You can make the two values, for example, vector one or actually vector two if you want. Like, so you don't have to uh, manually type them all the time. The negative six to six, and I'm going to plug that here and here as well. Now I can use both okay I think that's looking good uh, I will try to get that result result applied here and get uh, like this value and change it to red Okay. But actually I want to do that before the clamp. Now you can see I will set that to 0.5. I will save it. And now you can see. But why it isn't? Oh, because of the clamp. Okay, let's do it after the clamp actually. Oh, this is because the uh because of the alpha. Uh Let's do the albedo as well. Let's save. Now you can see we have this red color at the place where the dissolving is happening. So if you want to, if you want to uh, merge that with the texture, you can make texture. We just take something like this and multiply it. Like this, with this. Safe. So you can have this, you know, blend effect. Where the sh the texture actually is disappearing and uh, we can make one remap just to make the texture look slightly better. Because I think it could be From negative point one five to two point five to have a better contrast. Okay. So now you can see that better. Uh, you can change it. You can change the way that the noise is happening by changing. For example, you can make it to a hundred. You can even expose that to a. a property here so you can have it like smaller and uh, you can change also how much of this is happening and uh, you can change the actual color where it where it's happening So if I type it to black, it will go like this. Yeah. You have to change it to white, for example. Not to white, but to absolutely white. Yeah. So, yeah. Save it. 
you can expose this as an output uh, you can change the color of course and you can even go to if you want that to make if you want to make that glow you can uh, add bloom to your camera and then go to make a, a color and then uh, vector one and then multiply node just add that here and add this to the color so now you can make uh, like green color and multiply it like three times and it will it will glow if you have a bloom here I don't but I think it's nice effect you know and you can even animate the texture you can you can simply change this for example I can make a sample texture and uh, choose that bricks and apply it here and now you can see that it will dissolve in the let me save okay to dissolve in the shape of the bricks and uh, this have to be change it by the way Point 0.5 I'm not sure why point 0.5 above is happening but you got the idea right okay this is the dissolve shader I hope you like it you can explore and make some more stuff here so thanks for watching bye